What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. This is probably gonna be loud as fuck, I'm sorry. No, okay. No, that's not bad. Uh, guy, hold on a minute. We have a game developer that made a game that not only is the music very soothing and very nice, it was not really loud. Okay. So, recreate pattern. Click on the grid to, re to create the same pattern as the example. I'm gonna test our intelligence here. We've got, uh, what did it, what did you want? That was really easy. Alright. <laughs> I may have, uh, overestimated some of these brain games. 5 plus 6 equals 30. It's the times... 6 times 5... 6 minus... 6 plus 11 is, uh... 6, 5, 7, 9 plus minus 2 equals 7. Oh, thank god. This is at, at like, a literal third grade level. Uh, 5 plus... Uh, 5 minus 8... 5 times 8 minus 8 equals 4. 5 minus... times... plus... We got extra time here, so let me just like make sure I can remember this. Yeah. For those of you that are curious, I uh, I actually was IQ tested before, and uh, it was enough for me to be able to like completely understand patterns and recognize um, how they function. So I, I don't even need to look at this anymore. I don't think. What was on the previous stream? Um, well, if I just pull out deduction here. And just use the reasonable amount of time that I have. Let me think about this. I saw a few of these. I think it was this one. Another memory test. This one should be very... I don't... You know what? I don't even need to look at it for more than a few seconds. <coughs> okay. Sorry, I just had a cough there for a sec. Uh, it, was, it was this one here. What, what, what image was absent? Hmm, which one was the one? I'm not sure which one was in here. Pretty sure this light blue one was not there. No, it wasn't. Memory test. We have quite a few of these. <coughs> <laughs> the results of this test can be found by comparing your score with the following IQ scale. The author of this test doesn't pretend to be absolutely exact in estimating your mental skills. However, along with your intelligence, you must have a sense of humor. Oh! Oh, excuse me! Oh, excuse me! This is this result's pretty poor. This is average result. Oh, this is a good result. High intelligence. With such high IQ, you are able to manage large companies. But it is not enough to prove format theorem in 60 seconds, by the way. Full version of this test will include such a task. 14 times 1 is 14. Four times... Fourteen! That's not fourteen. Seven times two. Fourteen. Hit this other fucking car! Uh, I believe this is Honduras. Nope, it's Costa Rica. It's Jamaica. <laughs> Alright, now this is St. <laughs> there's El Salvador. Now there's uh, Croatia. That's, uh, that's the Netherlands. There's, uh, Sweden. <laughs> oh, there's, there's that one. <laughs> I love how, like, here's the thing, like, half of these I'm fucking around, and the other half, like, I'm, I'm not fucking around. This one's easy, simple to solve the sum. If five cents, fuck, I'm gonna lose all my points here. I'm terrible with this shit. This one is easy. Simply solve a sum. Five dollar five dollar twenty five dollar fifteen. <laughs> All right, fuck. Solve the sum. That's it's two dollars. Two dollars fifteen cents. Fifty eighty. That's eighty five cents. Fifty five eighty. Sixty seventy eighty nine hundred one oh five one twelve. Fuck. Dollar dollar eighty. 210, 220, 225, 250, 280. What? Shit! I lost all my points. Three, four, five dollars. 
90, 95, fuck, no, 50, do the big ones first, 50, one dollar. That's one dollar. <laughs> I I can't do this. I have the disease when you can't do math. Okay, I own a fidget spinner, but I can't, like ironically, which is not a prime number. Prime number is a number that can be um, divided into itself. For uh, it's a it's things that are divided by two. It's not thirteen. Thirteen is not a prime number. Okay, so. Uh, <laughs> You're one of the six percent of the population. All right, well, let's just move on to a, what, fuck all this intelligent shit. You know what I mean? Like, who cares? Oh, you're smarter than this guy. Are you more? So you're more intelligent than this guy? No. What What matters is what element are you? Is what matters. You're at home alone late one night, and there's a thunderstorm going on outside. When the power goes out, this happened two days ago. So I can give you a true answer to this. This happened two days. You know, I got a lot of shit from my hair. People were saying like, well, you look like a fucking, you look like a real like villain. So I slicked it back today. So I actually look like a fucking real like 80s movie villain. Slick back with oil. Sometimes you gotta play the part, you know what I'm saying? For 40% you are, your element is free spirited air. You're an optimist and you tend to look at the bright side of things. Because of this, you have many friends who are attracted to your outgoing personality. You also value self-expression and would probably enjoy writing or art or maybe both. You hate being tied down with obligations, so you try to keep your life fairly simplified. You have you love to have fun and you brighten everybody's day with your smile. Uh, it's called the Forer effect. It's a common psychological phenomenon whereby individuals give high accuracy ratings to descriptions of their personality that supposedly are tailored specifically to them that are in fact vague and general enough to apply to a wide range of people. <laughs> yeah. It's true. I mean, honestly. But I mean, like, but, that, but, but more importantly, I really want to know what SpongeBob character am I? Favorite, what's my favorite SpongeBob quote? <laughs> God damn it, SpongeBob, who says that? Who said that? They don't swear in SpongeBob, I've never heard that. I'm gonna, God damn it, SpongeBob! What the fuck is wrong with you? Got any hobbies? Okay. Uh, how do you live with my beloved wife and husband? Like my pet, alone with my ego. I got some company time to time. Alone, but it's still fun. That depends. Now yeah, that depends. It could be any day. My friends could come over. I could have family over. How how high is your IQ? What do you work with? Art and culture. Own business. Serving a big boss. Nope. Teaching. Nope. Business, nope. Unemployed, I, I, art and culture. Art. This is this this is this is art right here. I'm doing it right now. This is this is performance art. You guys don't understand. This is this is a living painting that you're seeing. Michelangelo, Leonardo, Da Vinci. They're all dead. I remain. You understand? I remain as a performance artist. Art and culture. Well, I got Mrs. Puff. <laughs> uh, okay, you, you are probably a teacher in a class. There is this one student you just want to strangle, but can't. When you get angry, you easily blow up and let it all burst out. Most of the time you spend alone searching for love. <laughs> you know, it's funny, like a half of this is real. Are you heroic lawful good or a chaotic evil? Find out. Let's play it. This is, uh, they, we make these, uh, tests, or well, I don't make them, but, uh, companies do and people do to do in-depth, uh, reviews of who you are as a person. Do you, are you lawful? Are you neutral? Are you chaotic? Are you good? Are you evil? I and mean, it's a very in-depth test. So let's start with the first question here. Um, Pick a song to listen to. We're not gonna be just the victims. We're making our dreams and they tear them apart. 
Till everyone's the same. Gotta go, no place to go. I've got no way to. I'm just reading. I don't know. I don't. But the song sucks. I'm done with it. I don't know the name. There was the lyrics are on the screen. I'm glad you got the joke. Belgium, at last, we see each other plain. Monsieur Le Maire, you'll wear a different chain. Before you say another word, Chabert, before you chain me up like a slave again, listen to me. There is something. It's a fucking classic. This is good. Yeah, okay, I like that one. This was between this and Smash Mouth. That's a good that's a good one. I am the thing that keeps you up at night. The evil that haunts every dark corner of your mind. I will never rest and neither will you. Forgive me, but to me you've been dead for centuries. Who it doesn't even say who said these. You broke the protocol of temporal displacement. You cheated. Illegal is always faster. There are all types of prisons, kid, and I'm making sure your prison is the town where you live. Ah, the Eiffel Tower and the ever-romantic City of Lights. We're definitely coming back here, baby, you know, when we don't have a world to save. Uh, how about, how about, ah, the Eiffel Tower? We're gonna do the, we're gonna, we're gonna get, like, French as our alignment. We're gonna be, like, French neutral. You're at a party and people are drinking. You're not of age, and neither are most of the people at the party. But someone offers you a beer. What do you do? I, th I, thought th I think I picked the wrong one. There's like another one that is much more actually in-depth than this one. You were the one offering the beer. Wow, no. Pick a job. Doctor, mercenary, judge, advisor, private, and serial killer. That's not a job. That is a lifestyle. Here we go. Here we go. Chaotic neutral. What the hell is that? Gummy pogo stick. Why do I have to lean in? I'm like, I have to lean in when I get close to my monitor? What am I, fucking 80? That's a sad Kool Aid man. Grass part. The game that game is called. Am I spelling it wrong? Jurassic. Jurassic. I'm not doing it on purpose. Jurassic. Thick. Your ass. Your ass. Thick. Fuck. Uh. I was gonna say Beekman's World. What is it? Oh, oh my God! Animal Crossing. <laughs> Animal Cross dressing. That's not what I was gonna write. Uh, law, but the Law and Order game. But you point at people and you scream at them. The. Objection! What? I don't. I've never played one of them. Law. Destiny's Law. Destiny's Child. De. Uh. Dear! Oh my god, it's a guy's first and last name. It's called like, like, Professor Layton. What is his name? It's the character's name. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. The Cat in the Hat. What is this? <laughs> Andrew Lupus. What's his fucking name? What is the guy's fucking name? Phoenix Wright. <laughs> Judge Judy. 